In my admittedly bad knowledge of League of Legends, what I do know is that it is essentially a spin-off of a spin-off of World of Warcraft, in a sort of way at least. So right before World of Warcraft, there was a game called Warcraft 3, which would go on to create the spiritual successor that was World of Warcraft, but something big that came from Warcraft 3 was Dota or Defense of the Ancients, and a few years later, League of Legends was inspired by Dota, and eventually League would, well, you know this, it would become basically the most popular game in the world. There's different statistics that say different things. You could say GTA 5, you could say Minecraft, you could say Roblox. But by some statistics, League of Legends is definitely up there, if not the most popular game of all time. But what's interesting is how these things can kind of come full circle. So back in December of 2020, it looks like it was announced at that point that they were working on an MMORPG spinoff of League of Legends. And of course, people were super stoked about this. Of course, MMOs are awesome. You got a game that already obviously has a, a huge online influence because it's an online battle arena game and you got the people that play that that maybe grew up with World of Warcraft, RuneScape, etc and would love an MMO spin on that. So over the past three or four years now there has been a bunch of hype it looks like of this game but today we got some very bad news about it. The co-founder of Riot Games, Mark Merrill, provided an update on Twitter on basically the uh, state of the development of this new upcoming MMO MMORPG. That's a spinoff of League of Legends. So he said that the game's entire direction has unfortunately been reset from where they started out with it. The entire vision, their goals they had for the game, all of that basically has been reset by Riot. He said that the devs behind this MMO basically decided to overhaul the project completely due to concerns that it basically was not unique enough to stand alone as its own game and to stand out from all of the other MMORPGs that are in the world right now. Mark Merrill basically said that he knew that fans did not want to play an MMO that they have already played before. He wanted it to be its own thing while at the same time meeting all of the high expectations from fans. So ultimately their team decided to scrap their idea completely and start from scratch. He also talked about how he is uh, moving around some people on this team and they're bringing in new talent as well to work on this project. And he basically hinted that going forward for at least some time now uh, the details on this project are going to be fairly quiet and there's really going to be no new updates for a while now. Obviously that comes as a huge disappointment to people who were hyped for this but ultimately Merrill said that you know this is necessary for the development of this project that they need to go through a time where they basically just focus on what is going to make this game work. I will say though the good news is that hey this project is still alive and kicking. I mean with all of the layoffs and cancellations we have seen in the gaming world I'm kind of surprised this is still happening. I saw one commenter on Reddit basically said that yeah they were surprised that this uh, was not cancelled as MMOs I guess are uh, very costy to keep alive. I guess they are uh, their own form of a live service game that just costs a ton of money and that oftentimes the risk is not worth the reward. So yeah I guess it does seem like it is a, a bit surprising that they ultimately did not cancel this project but I guess you have to see the good in it because hey since Riot Games decided not to cancel it and decided to just you know keep going with it I don't know that tells me that they've got something really good planned for this game and that it is definitely not a lost cause. Though it doesn't seem like we're going to get this game in the very near future, to me this tells me that this MMO is going to be worth the wait.